Hello users, and welcome to another episodic installation of Above It All, the show where I say, if you are afraid of words like fuck, chances are you're not a real person. So here I have a news clip coming out of Edmonton, which is the uh, capital, I believe, of Alberta, Canada. And uh, they did a news clip on someone selling coffee mugs and... I just, like, they were so offended, they pulled a, how dare you, good madam, and it's absolutely hilarious, so I would love to share this with my fellow users on this channel, so let's check it. Shocking as it is blunt, part of this mug sale price goes to help Edmonton teachers, even the coffee... Co Real quick context, who we're talking about here is the premier of Alberta, think about it like they're the governor of Alberta, you know, if you're an American... That's how it works. So this guy is a conservative clown. He was elected at some point in 2019, going from a somewhat center-left government to a very far-right government. So there's the context. But again, how dare you, good madam? You said such an inappropriate word. Oh, how dare you? Shocking as it is blunt, part of this mug sale price goes to help Edmonton teachers. Even the coffee cup's inspirational beginnings is controversial. It started when a woman crossed paths with the premier at a downtown crosswalk. She saw him crossing the street and she was finally able to yell, Hey, Jason Kenny, F you. Jason Kenny turned around and said, Thank you very much. Julie Morrison made the mug as a gift for that woman, only to discover there was demand for more. She says, despite the word we can't show on television, it's meant to be a conversation starter around UCP policies in the province. Obviously it's profane, obviously it's very controversial, but controversy sparks conversations. And this is meant just to be a joke, it's a sarcastic joke. The profane um, mug is an example of how Canadian profane. politics... Okay, okay, I'm sorry, but like the idea, the profane mug, it's so cringe, dude. Imagine, imagine, imagine. Imagine saying that. Imagine like you're the fucking announcer and like you get like a fucking piece of paper, right? Like you got your little fucking, I don't have any paper near, I was going to use it as a prop, but you get your piece of paper and it's like, imagine, imagine this is my piece of paper, this bubble mailer. So you get your piece of paper and it's like, all right, profane mug. Like imagine saying that shit like out loud, a fucking profane mug. More like a fucking propane mug. Like, at least then it would be interesting for King of the Hill fans. But, like, okay, let's check this out. It gets better. It's a sarcastic joke. The profane um, mug is an example of how Canadian scenario. politics is becoming less and less civil. To... It's, it's, it's a left and right uh, divide. Uh, it, it's almost like it's become two warring <laughs> tribes. <laughs> Dr. Mensa believes we need to express political differences without resorting to personal attacks, saying Oh, how dare you personally? What is that? How is that a personal attack? How is saying fuck Jason Kenny a personal attack? Like, like a personal attack would be, hey, Jason Kenny, try a fucking salad. That's a personal attack. Hey, Jason Kenny, you smell like a fucking sofa. Okay, that's a fucking personal attack. How is saying fuck a governing, like, body, how is that a personal attack? Like, what? Like, how thin-skinned do you have to be to think, Oh, fuck you! Oh, my personal, oh my god, the profanity! Like, Jesus. And again, this is the year 2020. Like, this sounds like it's a news broadcast from, like, 1869 or something. But no, this is the year 2020 could eventually progress to the point of physical attacks. We need to we need to make sure that people can exchange disagreements in a civil like, it's okay when we fucking murder indigenous people. That's fine. It's okay when we lower the wages and when we cut hours for everyone. That's fine. It's all right when we reopen schools during a pandemic that will potentially kill thousands if not tens of thousands of kids. That's cool. But how dare you, good madam, you made a profane mug! Oh, oh my sensibilities! Like... Courteous manner. The company posted a message to social media Thursday saying the mugs were not meant to offend. 25% of the sales will go to Edmonton area teachers, providing them with personal protective equipment and other things needed for the classroom. Yeah, other things that the government isn't giving them. I but they called me the F word. Oh. P 
people are dying all the time because of political actions. And yet people in Canada are crying about a coffee mug. During the COVID-19 pandemic. So that teachers aren't spending their grocery money on items that are necessary to protect their children in the class. In Edmonton, uh, please visit Darcy Ropchan, City News. Anyone who is affiliated with this news broadcast, <clears throat> that random doctor they brought on, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. These governments, you know, these colonialist imperialist powers have been murdering millions of people for centuries. Okay? So when you fucking get offended, you get your panties in a fucking twist over a fucking coffee mug. Ah, it said fuck! How about this? Go fuck your Self, And this goes to any politician who has ever decided to sign away someone's right to life. Whoever decided to open schools during a pandemic. Lower wages. Fucking increase fucking carbon dioxide emissions when the fucking planet's on fire. Okay? All of these people, they don't deserve a fucking funny coffee mug. They deserve something far fucking worse. And it's about goddamn motherfucking time that these stupid TV anchors and wannabe fucking loser BBC lookalike cocksucker wannabe fucking fuckfaces realize that the fucking class warfare from the rich and the politically powerful on the poor, it's getting to a fucking boiling point. And I can't wait until these sissy baby snowflake cunts get a fucking taste of their own medicine that they've been shoving down our throats for fucking centuries. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.